Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. I'm Erin. If you guys are new here, I'm going to be taking you guys along with me on another little vlog this week. It's Thanksgiving week. Today is Monday. My family comes on Wednesday night. My parents and my little brother, so I have a lot to do to get prepared for them. So it should be a good mix of some exciting things, some projects, some regular like day-to-day -day life with training. I'm currently changed to go to the gym. I'm probably not going to take you guys with me because it's just another leg day. In the last vlog I posted, I didn't realize I posted two leg days in it. So we'll chat after I get back from the gym. Okay, before I go to the gym, I'm opening this package because I've been waiting for it for a few weeks. And I'm very excited. I'm so excited about these. I will link these in the description. They just opened the customization on this specific style. So you guys can get these. They're back in stock. Honestly, a great holiday present or just like treat. Yo, are we ready for these? my name on them. Just got done with the workout. I had a very good leg day. I'm gonna head to Target and get some holiday Christmas decorations just to kind of get my house a little bit more festive. My family gets here on Wednesday night so I have a couple days to get things together. I have some stuff coming from Amazon today as far as like serving platters and stuff because I don't really have a lot of dishes so we'll do an unboxing with that but as far as Target goes I'm just looking for some like festive decor and then probably some like table decor and I don't know, I'm just interested to see what I find, so let's go shopping together. This is my first public vlogging experience on my own. I don't know what my deal is, I just feel so weird walking around public with a camera, so I don't know, I'll probably just put it in my cart. I don't know! Got me almost getting hit by a car. and came to a Target that I don't normally come to and the selection is much worse. So I'm just gonna take what I found and probably go back to my Target tomorrow. <laughs> If you don't put your cart back, you're a terrible person, just saying. As I was saying, I'm gonna go to another Target this week. I go to the Target in Westminster. It's the best Target in the Denver area. They just have the best stock for like home decor and everything else, so I'm probably gonna do that tomorrow. When I go home, I have to walk the dog and feed the dog and gonna unload some of this stuff, and then I have some packages at home for things that I also ordered for this week. So we'll unbox those, and then gonna do some work and head to bed. Not a crazy night, but we'll catch up in a little bit. And right on cue, home to Amazon packages. Goonie! Hello! How are you doing? <laughs> Is he a happy boy? I will forever carry things inside in one trip. I don't care if I have to have like 20 bags, but... Taking two trips is just not for me. I feel like this isn't even that much stuff, but I know I'm not alone in that. I will make a post from my like to know it and link it in the description so you guys can find all these products. The sun is about to set, so I'm gonna take Lambo on a walk before it gets dark. He just snapped his head and looked at me when I said that. Um, and then gonna come back and edit some videos and make some dinner and shower. I literally, I walked in the door after the gym and just started like unloading this haul and uh, yeah. I literally feel so scatterbrained. Like, I feel like every time I pick up the camera to start talking, I'm just like going all over the place. So I'm sorry if this vlog is like super erratic. That's kind of how my brain is working this week, but we're gonna get through it. All right, I just got out of the shower and I'm going to import the, I'm gonna import the clips that I just took at the gym and then make some content with them. So that'll probably take me about an hour or so, and then we're gonna open my Amazon packages with all of my dishes. My fair life. Um, I'll link this. 
this in the description. This is where I've been getting Fairlife because Costco has been sold out lately. Now for the dishes. I like the detail around the side. I got two packs of these and they're really big. They actually might be too big now that I'm thinking about it. But that's okay. Got four of those. These are the serving platters that I got. It's a three pack. I got them for fruit and desserts and appetizers. I ordered some coconut shrimp and like spinach strip and some other things. So I just wanted to have some plate. I just think they're super simple and I love them. Okay, these are not for Thanksgiving, but I'm very excited about these. They're like square mugs and they're big. I feel like all the cool glasses are always like 10 to 12 ounces and you can't put anything in them. But these are 20 ounces and they're really cool. Oh, I like these a lot. They're like square. I don't care what you say, the cup that you drink your coffee out of matters. Like, if I have a cute little mug and I'm making coffee, I just feel like it's so much more exciting to drink. I don't know. I got two more bowls. These are a little bit bigger than the other bowls. So, these are 11 inches and the other bowls are 9.75 inches. I will also link all of this in the description if you guys are looking for these items. Can we take a minute for the behind the scenes of doing like a quick haul? I literally feel like most of my life right now is just working on the computer. That's what I'm gonna go do right now. I have to upload some photos for my app and work on uploading more videos for the app and then work on my challenge that's gonna be launching on January 2nd. So a lot more details on that to come. It's gonna be huge. So yeah, I'm just gonna post up on the computer. It's like 6 p.m. now and then probably gonna work for a couple hours and then just like watch a show, hang out and head to bed. We might chat a little bit tonight. We'll probably pick up tomorrow morning. Hello, it is like 9 p.m. I have not eaten dinner yet. I had some snacks when I got home from the gym and I had a protein shake, but I just had a lot to do and I'm finally getting around to eating. So Whole Foods has this chicken pot pie. You just bake it on 375 for 23 minutes. This is one of my favorite comfort meals. It's not the best nutritionally. It's not horrible. Um, you definitely like shouldn't have one every single night, especially if you don't like train super hard, have an active lifestyle. But this is what I'm gonna have for dinner and yeah, I'm watching this random Netflix movie that's not very good. I'm probably gonna go to bed after I eat this just so I can get up and have a productive morning because I have so much to do. Good morning. I woke up five minutes ago, let the dog out. You guys know the deal. Gonna do my skincare and get ready. I also need to recurl my hair. I got a lot of comments on my last video asking for me to show you guys the process of how I do my hair. So we're gonna do that too and I'll show you guys what I use. Yeah, let's, let's get ready. This is what I do for skincare. I'll link it in the description. I will say it is an investment. It's taken me a few years to find stuff that works for me. makeup quick I think I'll do a like get ready with me with my makeup in the next video I just have so much to do today and don't really have time to film it so I'm gonna do that and then I'm gonna go to Starbucks and get coffee and Lambo pup cup and then I'm gonna come back and curl my hair because your girl is tired and I don't know curling my hair is like it's a task so I need some energy for it okay this is probably old news for most of you but I've been struggling with how to use a claw clip like forever and I think I just did it I think I just did it I literally oh damn I need to wipe off my lip stain my lips are gonna be bright red what did I just do it I think I did it I don't know if I'm gonna curl my hair I think I might leave my hair like this if I need to get changed and I probably can't get changed and leave it like this so I don't know we'll see but I'm just really excited yeah that didn't last long let's go get coffee and then I'm gonna curl my hair you want to go get a pup cup I honestly feel like for me, going to Starbucks in the morning isn't even really about like getting the Starbucks. It's about like, because I work from home, I work for myself. It, I like that I wake up and I have somewhere to go. That might seem kind of silly. Um, Brian and I were talking about this the other day, but it's just nice to wake up and then go do something and then come back home and start working as opposed to like 
waking up and then just being at home all day until I go to the gym. I just feel very isolated. It's not a huge thing, but yeah, I don't know. I just, I really do feel like it's more about the actual trip to Starbucks than it is the coffee, if that makes sense. Can I get started for you? Hi, I just have a mobile order. All right, come on through here. Thank you. So we actually do not have that order. Oh my God, I did not submit it. That's all right, I'll do it. I'll come back through. Yeah, Sorry, my bad. You're good. <laughs> you guys hear that? I did not submit my order. Oh my God, that's so embarrassing. I go to the Starbucks every day, so I think they know like my order, but <laughs> it's like fucking whack, bro. I'm gonna submit it now and <laughs> we're gonna go back through. Look at him. Are you, are you in distress? <laughs> like, uh, excuse me. All right, well, we're just gonna chill here for a second and then we'll go back through in a minute. Are you doing okay back there? Are you waiting for something? All right, let's try this again, round two. Also, this parking lot is so tiny. Oh my God, like an eight point turn. Well, deja vu. Looks like gonna get started for you. Hi, I just have a mobile order for Aaron. Sitting here in? Yeah. Oh, welcome back. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank right, you. I'll have it ready for you. Perfect. Thanks. <laughs> Thank you. Have, have a good day. day. You already know. He's ready. I've been getting this ring for months. I've said it in my last video and I say it on my Instagram story all the time, but I get the brown sugar oat milk shake and espresso and then I sub out the regular brown sugar syrup for apple brown sugar syrup and it tastes like apple cider coffee. It's the best thing in the entire world. I highly recommend if you guys get it, tag me and let me know what you think. It is goaded. Made back home from Starbucks. Time to curl my hair. I'll link everything that I use in the description. Starting with curling irons, they're both the Bioionic Long Barrel Curling Irons. One is the 1.25, one is the 1.5. I normally use the 1.25 right after I wash my hair because I can curl my hair once and then let it sit for a few days because it just gets a little bit looser. I'm gonna use the 1.5 today because it's a little bit faster and I really don't wanna be doing this. So we're just gonna do this so it goes faster. And 390. For heat protectant, I use this, which I'll also link in the description. I like it because you can spray it on dry hair. Yeah. I just... Okay, I split it down the middle. And then, I don't know why, but I always start on this side and I start from the back. So I usually just grab like a low piece. Because this is a long barrel, I can grab like a, a good amount of hair, which is why I like it. This is my favorite curling iron, literally ever. And then... I just curl like this. I don't really know how to explain how I curl it, so I'll just show you guys. I used to drag out the curls, but I've been not doing that lately, and I like the look better. I just think it looks better. So I just keep like loosening the this and then curling around. And then I hold for a sec. And let go. All right, I'm gonna do some and then we'll check back in a second. So then it looks like this. And then I leave it like this for like 10 minutes just so it can like set with the hairspray. I don't know if that makes it last any longer. I just feel like it does. Also, I'm just gonna put in some dry shampoo too just because I washed my hair a few days ago. Hands down, best dry shampoo of all time. It gives you a little bit of volume and it's my favorite one. I've tried a lot of dry shampoos, go to it. So we'll check back in 10 minutes and I'm gonna brush it out and show you guys the final look. In the meantime, let's find something to wear. I think we're gonna do this. I just got this Lulu top and I'm really excited about it. It's the Rulu Run Half Zip. I'll link this outfit in the description too. These pants, I like freaked out about these pants on my Instagram story when I got them. They're my favorite, they're the, I can't remember the name, but I'll link them. Got the full fit. 
Nothing crazy, just pretty comfy. I'm gonna put on a puffer vest because it's like 50 degrees outside, so a little chilly, but nothing crazy. Okay, last step for the hair. Brush out the dry shampoo. I always make it look a little bit crazy and then I just like brush everything out, so. And it looks like this. And then just put some oil in it. Also, we'll link in the description. And this, I think, makes it blend a little bit better and makes it super shiny. I do have extensions if you guys haven't figured that out by this point, but my hair will stay like this for the next few days. Really, all I'll do is just put a little bit of dry shampoo on and maybe curl like the front pieces just from sleeping, but that's it. That's how I do my hair. Hopefully that was helpful. Okay, right, before we go to Target, I am gonna go to Brian's place to drop off a bunch of boxes because he has a big dumpster thing there and I don't. So gonna load up my car with all the boxes and then do that and then we're gonna go to Target. I feel like I've been talking about Target for like eight years, but it'll happen at some point. Okay, like I said yesterday, this is the good target, so I have a feeling I'm gonna find a lot of things. I'm not gonna do a tree this year, so I'm just looking for some other, like, decor. I just... I'm going home with Brian's family for Christmas, so I'm not even gonna be here for Christmas, so I don't really want to set up a tree. Let's go shopping. <laughs> Target run like halfway through I just got super overwhelmed and I think I've decided I want to finish decorating for Christmas after my family is here I just have too much to do and they literally get here tomorrow night so I just I can't do it all right now so we're gonna decorate for Christmas after my family gets here and I'll do that in the next YouTube video I did find some dishes and some bowls and some placemats so that's good I'm gonna go home now and take the dog on a walk make some food and then head to the gym and then I have therapy later and then I'm gonna clean the entire house and stress out about hosting. So we'll chat soon. Hey, look at these dishes I got. I've been looking for black dishes since I moved in here and I'm obsessed with these. I will link them in the description. I got the small plates that look like this and the edges are like raw. And then the bowls, I really like big bowls. So I got these, I got five also. Normally I get sets of four, but I need five for Thanksgiving. So we're just gonna roll with it. These are what the bowls look like. And then the big plates. Got these gray leather placemats for Thanksgiving dinner. My table's black, so I think it's gonna look very, very good and aesthetic, hopefully. Yay. All right, we're gonna make one of my favorite smoothies for a little pre-workout meal. It's a PBJ smoothie. I perfected this recipe over the past couple months and it's one of my favorite things. So I'll show you guys how I make it. These are the ingredients you'll need. Frozen acai, frozen strawberry, frozen banana, almond milk, and peanut butter. to do uh probably about three hours and then i'm gonna go to the gym i'm just doing a it's like a mobility day essentially today so i'll take you guys along with me for that but yeah we'll chat in a few hours i'm working for a couple hours i got this abercrombie package delivered so I'm gonna take a little break from the computer and open this together i ordered some jeans but i'm not really sure how they're gonna work so this could be a total flop it could be good we'll see First thing, I got these leather cargo pants. I have not been able to find leather pants that fit, so 
We'll see if these are them. I'll try everything on after I unbox it. I'll also link everything in the description, obviously. All right. Oh yeah, I got this hoodie. It was on sale. Abercrombie hoodies, sweatshirts, t-shirts are absolutely goaded. They're so soft material and I like the designs. This one's a Corvette one. I got it in a men's medium. So it's gonna be a little bit oversized. Love. Okay, I got these jeans in two different sizes. Well, I got the curvy version and the non-curvy version. I got them both in a 26. So interested to see. They're like jeans, but then they have leather at the bottom. I'm really excited about them. I hope that they fit. So these are the regular version. I also got the curvy version just because I wasn't sure which ones. I literally have no hips. The only like curvy part of me, I have really big thighs compared to my waist. Um, but then yeah, so this is the curvy version. So we'll see which one works, if any of them work. I have high hopes. Yeah, and then I thought this was super cute. It's like a sweater dress. A little bit different from what I normally wear, but I feel like it'd be really cute for like date nights or just like when I want to look a little cute, you know? The sweater dress. I'm trying to branch out into like other normal human clothes other than just like joggers and athletic stuff like I normally wear. Oh, another sweatshirt. This one is also on sale. I got this in a small. I feel like I have so many oversized things, so I'm trying to get like some smaller things so I can wear like a hoodie and sweatpants and not just look completely homeless. So I got this one. Got this sweater bodysuit. Again, just feel like it would be super cute for like winter outfits when I want to look a little bit nicer. So this is what it looks like. It's got a square neckline and I thought it was super cute. Last thing I got is this green sweatshirt in a size small. It says Telluride on it, Colorado. It's like a little ski. I just thought it was cute. I like Abercrombie um, sweatshirts because they have the mock neck and I like how that fits. Let's try it on and see what fits. Okay, first thing, the leather cargo pants. Wait, do these fit? You guys might have just discovered the leather pants. Are we kidding? These are so cute. I am so impressed. I was not sure how these were gonna work, but definitely a win, you guys. These are the non-curvy ones. I love these pants. I love the style of them. I think they're so cool and like different. Do we love, I, what? These are so cute. These are the non-curvy ones. I have a little bit of, a little bit of room, but honestly just gives me room for if I go out for like a big meal. Definitely not like uncomfortable. There's no like, there's really no space in the back, which a lot of times I get like gapping right there. So dude, let's try on the curvy ones just to see if they fit any better. Okay, these are the curvy ones. Oh yeah, they're definitely tighter in the waist. And there's more room in the thighs. The other ones are a little bit tight right here. I honestly don't notice like a crazy difference between the two. I think it's just a little bit tighter around the waist and then more room in the thighs. But these jeans, obsessed. Like just a little bit different. Like I feel, I'm such a basic person, but I feel like if I put this with like a black top, and some black boots, like it's different. It's like, it's like I tried a little bit harder, you know? I, I don't know. I'm just keeping these jeans on for a second so I can show you guys what these tops look like. This is the green Telluride one. I got this in a size small. This is what I was talking about. I like how their sweatshirts have this mock neck. I just think it's a super flattering cut. Detail of what the sweatshirt looks like. And here's the fit. This is the Silver Lake one. Then the Corvette one. I'm honestly geeked about this. Got this in a medium, so it's a little bit bigger. Yo, yes. Yes. I just think it's so cool. It's so soft. Their material of their sweatshirts and t-shirts is absolutely my favorite. And this is the sweater bodysuit. I'd obviously wear it with a different bra, but I think it's super cute and I like the detail of it. I got this in a size small as well. Last thing I got is this sweater dress. I actually love it. I think it's so cute. I got a size small. I probably could have gotten an extra small if I wanted it a little bit tighter, but I think this is so cute. I might honestly wear this for Thanksgiving. I feel like this with a nice jacket and some boots is just like a cute little date night fit. Different from what I normally wear, but I'm here for it. About to head to the gym. I'm gonna give Lambo some ice cream before I go because I feel like I've been gone a lot today and I just feel bad. And it's also really cute when he gets ice cream, so. Okay, bye. Have fun. Love you. Okay, I think 
I mentioned earlier that I just have a mobility day at the gym today, so I'm not gonna take pre-workout, I just have this coffee and I'll take you guys along with me and show you guys some of the movements that I do. It's a little bit different from how I've trained before, but I definitely notice an improvement in mobility and flexibility and just overall like athleticism while I'm lifting. So it's been very beneficial for me to do this. I'm in a little bit of a rush because I have a therapy appointment in an hour and a half and the drive to the gym is about 15 minutes each way. So I don't have a ton of time, but we're gonna get it done. And yeah, I'll show you guys some stuff and we'll chat soon. I'm running late and I think I'm gonna be a little bit late for my therapy appointment, which is not ideal I had a really good session though. I did have to cut out the end I normally do Turkish get-ups at the end and I had to cut those out cuz I just do not have time But the things that you guys saw me doing were probably a little bit different Than things you've seen me doing before because they are did a belt squat march Which looks very 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 strange and it feels very strange like the first week I was doing it. I was like Yeah, I don't know about this, but I will say Hip mobility, hip flexibility, hip flexor comfort while doing compound lifts have significantly improved and I've only been doing it for three weeks. So highly recommend. Also the glute pump after that is insane because essentially, my seatbelt on. Essentially what you're doing is when you're raising one leg, you're firing the other leg's glute. So fire movement, looks really strange though. Then I did, some hip mobility work with the hip airplanes and the um, lunges. The lunge form is obviously not typical lunge form. Um, it's more for mobility. I did a 45 second AMRAP glute drive twice, um, which is what you saw me doing on hip thrusts. And then I did some cable work. I did face pulls and then I did Y raises. And then like I said, I normally do Turkish get ups, but I had to cut those out because I do not have time. So, gonna drive home, park my car. My therapist's office is a tenth of a mile from my house, which is super nice, so I just walk there because there's not really a lot of parking. So, gonna drive home and then sprint to the therapist's office and we'll connect after therapy. Just got back from therapy, it was a very good session. I started going to therapy when I moved to Denver just because life got very overwhelming and it's just nice to talk to somebody that's not attached to your life, like a very outside perspective that you can just go and like, be super open with. So yeah, I just think it's a super safe space and it's been very enjoyable for me to go. So if you've been considering it, I highly recommend. I think there's like this connotation with therapy being bad or like you have something wrong with you or you're like problems or whatever. But honestly, I just feel like if you're a healthy adult that like cares about improving yourself and being better, you should go to therapy. But anyways, about to take Lambo on a walk. And then when I come back, I just have a lot of cleaning to do. So We'll probably check in in a few hours. Okay, I just got off the phone with Brian. I am feeling extremely overwhelmed with how much I have to do in essentially one day. So he's gonna come over and help me. We're just gonna be cleaning. I also bought some steaks, so we're gonna make some dinner. And then we're gonna clean and get my place ready for my family. Other than that, I think 
that's pretty much gonna be it for this vlog. So with that being said, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I wanna keep vlogging and I think it'll be a lot less chaotic after the holidays. It's just been a very busy week. To the rescue. Howdy.